I have a few very simple methods on how, how to save your entire rig from getting lost when you get snagged. This is a big problem here in Delaware, and I'm sure you guys have encountered the same problem when you're fishing fast water, rocky bottoms. Stay tuned to learn. What's going on guys? We are fishing at one of our favorite spots today, the Indian River Inlet. And I want to talk to you guys today about a big problem that I have fishing here. The inlet is full of all these rocks on the bottom here, so it's really hard to keep a bottom bait on there without snagging up. But a lot of times you need to get it on the bottom to catch the tog that are running here. These are very strong fighting fish. As soon as they bite, they'll run into a hole and snag you up. So your objective is to try and reel it out as fast as you can without getting snagged. But oftentimes, you lose a lot of rigs doing this. It really stinks to have to tie 20, 30 rigs every time you go fishing there. It's a waste of money, it's a waste of your line, and it's a waste of time. I learned this from my friend Gage, who taught this to me about last year, this about the same time. Uh, he, he showed us a way to stop losing our entire rig, and I thank you, Gage. I still remember. So, what you want to do is tie up the end of your line where you would put a sinker. Tie it to a paper clip. Okay, this is a smart idea. This is a very smart idea. So once your once your bottom of your line is tied onto a paper clip, you're gonna get a sinker. And feed it through. Okay? Then you're gonna close the paper clip back up. And there you go. Now, why is this a smart idea, guys? Can you can you think of why? If the sinker gets stuck in a rock and your hooks are up here, and you don't want to lose your hooks and lose your whole rig setup, this paper clip will break. So you'll still have your hooks, you'll still have the fish that has bitten it, you'll lose the sinker, but you won't lose everything else. And then you can tie on another, you can tie on another paper clip once you bring it back up, if it gets stuck. This way you'll stop losing so many fish. Another method that my dad just thought of, let me show you this. What I'm doing, if I more likely, not your hook that snap into a rock, but your sinker will get snapped into a rock. So you've got it tied. Can I see how you tied it? So you've got it tied so if your sinker gets stuck, this will slip out. Yeah. It's got enough pressure. Enough, yeah. It's got enough pressure to hold it on. You pull harder. If you pull harder, it'll eventually come out, come loose, because the only thing holding it is a double loop on this on this bead right here, right? This is a very smart idea, Dad. Okay, so this is how my dad's done it. We've got the rig right here, right? Now, to attach the sinker, usually we would tie it onto like a bank sinker, but he's got an egg sinker on the bottom. He's got a bead to hold it right here, and he's got a bead to hold it right here. So the way, I, so the way we secure the bead is we go through it once, then, go through it again, and then go through it again one more time. This way, the bead will stay in place, but if you pull too hard, this bead will snap. This line right here will come off first. So you don't lose your hook, so you don't lose all your other stuff. Now I understand that you're, you're still polluting one bead in, in the water, but I think that that is better than, than losing your entire rig with the hook and all of your fluorocarbon monofilament line, and the sinkers and the beads. So you're losing much less, and you're saving your rig so that you can just tie another sinker on. We have got a inlet and jetty fishing adventure kit. And this includes a laminated guide that teaches everything you need to know about fishing at an inlet, uh, down to what knots to tie, when to tie them, what rigs to use, when to use them, what bait to use, all sorts of different stuff. I've got, my, I've got recommended reels and rods that I like to use, uh, spots I like to throw my, my lures and stuff, um, and it includes an entire tackle kit that has everything to tie the rigs I'm talking about. This is available at SencoSkipper.com. Again, our job here is to get you guys on fish. So if you're going, if you're planning a trip to the jetty, if you're planning a trip to the beach or the pier, we've got all sorts of stuff to help you at SencoSkipper.com, as well as PDF tutorials if you don't want the actual kit itself. I've got all the p PDFs online. SencoSkipper.com. Thank you guys for watching. That's my tip for the day. I hope it helps you guys. Here at Senko Skipper, my job is to help you guys get on fish. If you're a beginner fisherman, Senko Skipper is a great place to call home.